Daylight revealed the full extent of the West Coast mainline crash with an engine flipped over and nine carriages forced off the track. Such was the impact of the 95 mile an hour accident that the train left tree trunks like broken matchsticks on the embankment. Rail accident investigators have turned their attention to why such an incident should happen on a straight piece of track on a line which has seen millions of pounds of investment in recent years. And the focus of the inquiry has emerged quickly. Having a set of points immediately prior to an accident always makes those points very suspect. And uh, given the information that we have and examining what we've been able to examine so far, that's the focus of attention. At the but if it is a points failure, that would be the responsibility of Network Rail. Clearly, there is a possibility that it has been something which has occurred. Um, which Network Rail is responsible for, but at the moment I cannot say that. Um, I hope that's not the case, but I, I, I have to live with the reality that it could be something which has gone wrong under our watch. The boss of Virgin was escorted around the crash site by investigators and confirmed those early assessments on the likely cause. A clearly emotional Sir Richard cut short a family holiday to visit the scene. I've been in the transportation business for nearly 25 years, um, you know, we've transported half a billion passengers and um, unfortunately have never had to be in this situation before. I mean, we're um, right out in the sticks um, and one can only imagine what it was like for the, for, for the passengers uh, in the train behind. Passengers said that rumbling turned to turbulence and then violent shaking as one by one the carriages left the tracks. The accident triggered an operation involving hundreds of emergency workers. Many of the 100 passengers and staff on board had to be airlifted to hospital. Rescue services worked for hours in heavy rain and darkness in this remote Lakeland spot. They expressed incredulity that more people had not been seriously injured. The strength and integrity of the tilting train carriages has been identified as the key factor in protecting passengers, many of whom were able simply to walk free. As patients recover in three local hospitals, there is one overriding view among the many emergency workers and investigators here at the site. And that is how astounding it is to look upon this scene of devastation and yet be able to appreciate still how many people survived. Despite that, there is a sense of urgency in establishing whether or not a points failure resulted in a high-speed train carrying 100 people being tossed from the tracks. Mike McCarthy, Sky News, Greyrig, Cumbria. An emergency telephone number has been set up for worried family and friends of the passengers. Numbers 0800 056 0146. It's on your screen now, 0800 056 0146. The team